Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. And I think it's almost 10 o'clock. I'm just now waking up. And yes, I put this on because I just did. Even though I don't have any plans to go anywhere today. Um, I'm just going to make my coffee. Kitchen's not messy at all. Just a few dishes to wash. Um, I'll do that a little bit later because I just woke up. What time is it? Yeah, it's 9.45 and I've actually only been up maybe like 20 minutes. So I just got up, washed my face, brushed my teeth, put my hair on and that's it you guys. So look at this flower. I want to show you guys. Look, it's huge and I think she should cut the dead ones here but I'm not going to do it because it's not my plant and I don't want to mess it up because y'all know me so yeah it's gorgeous oh I changed my mind I'm having eggnog and I heated it up not in this mug um I'm very selective on how I clean my Ray Dunn mugs and um my Ray Dunn pottery period when I first got it I used to only wash it by hand, but now I'm like, okay, it can be in the dishwasher on the top rack. But um, I say that because you guys who collect Ray Dunn, or if you know Ray Dunn, is extremely hard to find, or it used to be at least. I heated it up because for those that didn't know, um, homemade eggnog, you can have hot or cold. I don't know if store-bought one you can. I don't know, I don't buy it anymore because nothing meets homemade eggnog. so good so yeah and I did the dishes and they're in the dishwasher it wasn't very many this is bugging me so much every time I come in the kitchen my eyes go to it and it's like no I need another chair cover and if you're thinking Michelle why don't you just go to Ikea and get another one well I can but I'm trying to be really selective the places that I'm going because with cases rising and they're doing another shutdown and it's not like I didn't take it serious before I did but you know I don't want to just go there for one item even though I know where the bin is I could look it up on my app and I could just go get it and get out um, I'm still just trying to only go where I need to um, there's been people that I know who were very strict about what they did and they have caught the virus anyway um, so I'm just trying to be selective on where I go and what I do and yeah but this chair is going to drive me crazy because certain things I'm OCD about and just knowing it's there <laughs> it's funny because the first night that it happened after I did what I could to get it out and I realized it's not going anywhere I put it on and I was sitting in my chair and it was still on my mind and for those of you that watch Friends, remember the episode that Monica had the shoes in the living room and she couldn't sleep? Yeah, that's how I felt. Not that I couldn't sleep, but after I put it on, I was constantly thinking of it because it was just bugging me. So, yeah, I have to do something with that soon. You guys, there's nothing on the agenda today. Oh, somebody, so somebody, you guys know how I'm selling my refrigerator right there that used to be in my room. So someone messaged me and I'll read the message. Where is it? Which I hate when it asks, is this still available? Because apparently if it's on the app, it's still available. And that's just my pet peeve. So they asked, hi, Michelle, is this still available? And I said, yes, it's still available. And he said, $40 cash right now. What's your address? Um, I said, no, thank you. Why do people think because something is used and I get that is used and I'm not going to get, I think I paid 150 for it because um, of the size and it comes with a key that you can lock it. I don't know. If, I'll show you. I'll try to show you guys later. Anyway, um, it comes with a key that you can lock it and even though I'm not going to get $150 for it because I'm just not, I'm not that stupid, you know. Um, I put it high because I'm like, okay, if someone offers me $100, i will take it. But if, if someone offers me $70 is the lowest I'll go. Someone offers me $70, come get it. But people think just because something is used, oh, it shouldn't be that much. 
but if they were selling it they would want to get the money for it so yeah things like that bug me just like at yard sales when I used to have yard sales on Saturday people would come in and something would be for a dollar 50 cents a quarter y you're are you kidding me it's a dollar so yeah I mean I understand if this refrigerator was jacked up and busted and whatever but it's not I took really good care of it it was sitting in my room so yeah it, it's really let me show you guys so ignore this that's just the glass from the picture frames that I got for a project that I'm doing in my room but these little flaws right here I did that and I put it this is actually paint when I painted my room so I put these flaws on there to let them know there is a tiny little dent right there that I don't know where it came from but Boston's food dish is in the way it's clean nothing's wrong with it so yeah I mean that's the reason why I set it high with high expectations but I actually thought someone was gonna come in and say okay 80 bucks and I'd have been like okay take it yeah what do you guys think I mean this is crazy it works perfectly fine and people trying to get a good deal and if it was smaller maybe just smaller than that I would go down to 50 but this is a huge mini fridge and everything works perfectly fine like I said so 70 is the lowest I would go. I'm not going to tell people that though because if someone is going is willing to pay me a hundred I will take it. So yeah people are just crazy. Cash right now what's your address? Like I'm gonna be like woohoo yes forty dollars come give it to me. No thank you keep your forty bucks and I will keep my fridge and it's not like it's in the way. It's just sitting there in the corner. We don't go in that corner anyway. We don't even get the, the water um, delivered anymore because I was trying to do, you know, cutbacks. So, yeah. I don't know what that had to do with my refrigerator. Oh, because I had that, um, the stand over there. That's why I told you guys that. It's about 10.20 now, so I'm just going to drink my eggnog and catch up on some Vlogmas because I didn't watch anyone's Vlogmas yesterday. Why didn't I? I think I was watching movies all day long. Yeah, I was watching movies all day long and then towards the evening, um, Savannah and I started watching Christmas movies, you know, all the cheesy movies where they fall in love and you know, you know they're gonna end up together at the end. It's kind of blurry, isn't it? Okay, there it goes, better. So yeah, that's all we've been doing. Not a whole lot. I think I told you guys this before. I'm okay with the shutdown. I mean, it's not like I want things to be that way, but I'm a homebody anyway, so this doesn't bug me. And I don't know. I mean, my mental state is not like some other people's. I understand if you were outgoing and you had to be around people all the time and you know you were rarely in your house you know I can understand that but as for me personally I'm okay I'm okay and because I've been home from work and now that I'm working from home when Savannah and I went out to Winco the other day it was like ooh, fresh air you know oh the sun's bright <laughs> you know things like that so I actually don't mind it I'm okay um, I'm not one of the ones struggling and if you are one of the ones that are struggling find someone to talk to um, even though we can't get together right now call them you know um, or if you know someone who is struggling call them you know FaceTime with them just let them know hey you know we love you and you know stuff like that so anyway I'm rambling I know so it's much later I'm just watching cadaver on Netflix it's kind of weird. I actually fell asleep on it like three nights ago. So I'm just trying to start where I left off to finish it, even though it's it's different. If you guys have seen it, let me know what you think, because by the time you guys see this, I will have finished it. Anyway, um, have my Christmas lights on and I have the bins there that I have to put away, but not doing anything, just relaxing. It is almost two o'clock. And I'm doing what I do best in my chair. Oh, excuse me. Yawning, apparently, and probably about to take a nap. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, and guess what? It's hopefully going to happen today. 
Look what I moved here to the door. So someone is supposed to come today around 10 o'clock to pick it up and hopefully I can get rid of it. And this right here is just the plastic from like when it was new. See, it's just the plastic. Eh, at first I thought it was dirty and I'm like, how to get that dirty? But no, it's just the plastic. Y'all look what's gone. She messaged me and said, I'm here a little bit earlier. Can I come on up? She was supposed to be here at 10 and it was like 940. And I said, yeah, come on up. And we both had our mask on, which was good. So, and then I told her, I said, I hope you don't mind, but I have a little pin here that um, I use when I get cash to make sure it's authentic because I've been burned before in the past by getting counterfeit money. So it's just a little pin that I picked up from Staples. I think, I think it was maybe like five bucks. So I just carry it with me in my purse and anytime I get cash, I just, you know, make sure it is real. So yes, the refrigerator is gone. I'm actually going to go deposit the cash in my account on my next break. She didn't come in. Um, I just dragged it out to the porch and she picked it up and hauled it off to her car and so she was really happy with it and she looked it over and she said it looks great so yeah she's happy I'm happy and yeah and I did put it on Facebook market I didn't tell anyone that because you know just for safety reasons don't want any strangers any weirdos having my address but um I put it on Facebook market and I marked it for, and actually what I did, I marked it for 120. I think I told you guys 100, but I did 120 because I think it to myself, if I go on the high side, then I was willing to go as low as 70 to get rid of it. I actually wanted 100 for it, which is what she paid for it. So I'm thinking if someone offers me 80, I will take it. So yeah, um, I marked it for 120. She gave me a hundred, which is exactly what I wanted for it. So yeah, and I'm sweating because it's a little bit warm in here. I turned my heater up um, last night because it was cold, it's cold. Yeah, so anyway, um, and plus I just washed dishes and I, you know, was doing a few things around the house, but it's almost time for my break to be over. So I need to get back to work. It's much later, um, not too much later. I'm on lunch right now, it's one o'clock, got about, 30 minutes because I did go to the bank to deposit the cash then I got some gas in the car which I don't know why but then I came home and so I'm just watching stuff on YouTube catching up on my subscriptions and loving this working from home it's a little bit colder now this morning I was sweating and then I turned my heater back down that way it wouldn't be up so high and then, um, it was just Boston. And then, um, then it got a little bit colder. So, got my jacket on instead of turning the thermostat up. Anyway, um, just ordered some gifts for the kids. And it's weird, because I say kids like they're 10 or something like that. But they're my kids. They're always going to be my kids. They can be 50 years old and they're always saying the kids. The kids. <laughs> Um, my adult children, I ordered gifts for them. Um, I know I can go out shopping, but it's just so much easier. Now that I work from home, I'm never going to leave the house. I didn't want to leave the house to go put the cash in the bank. But anyway, um, so yeah, just sit it here. Today is Friday. I'm so excited. I know I told you guys that earlier, but um, I'm off tomorrow. Oh, I didn't give you guys the update on my coworker, the one who had COVID, the one who started all this again. Um, she is out of the hospital. She completely um, recovered, which is a good thing. And the boss let her go. Um, yeah. And at first he was just going to let her work at home permanently but he said she um, was reckless in her decision making which she was when she came to the job knowing she had been exposed and there was a possibility a strong possibility that she had it so yeah um, I don't wish for anyone to get fired but I mean it is what it is but the good thing is she survived after being on like oxygen that machine and you know, really, really, I guess her case of COVID was really bad. So, um, yeah, everything turned around, which I'm thankful for. Um, you don't ever wish death or anything horrible like that on anyone because 
that's just you just don't do that <sighs> anyway i've been talking enough good Let morning everyone it is saturday and as you can see it's not very light outside sacramento it's 48 degrees right now and let's see it rained yesterday it says tomorrow 100 percent chance of rain um and by four o'clock 40 percent and then it just goes up from there so yeah it's going to definitely rain today and i'm just laying in bed you know trying to force myself to get up um i don't really have to i don't have to do anything until later so i can actually lay here a whole lot longer but i don't know i just want to get up and can't let you guys see that way too much because i am redoing that little corner and i want to do it in one reveal video but i'm just trying to watch some videos trying to catch up on some subscriptions but i do need to get up you guys so yeah let's get up so it's been 20 minutes and i still haven't moved i mean i don't have to my bed is just so comfortable and so warm right now and i don't want to get up I just have a few errands to run i could do that tomorrow i mean no one said i have to get out today and do it I don't know. But my stomach's starting to growl, getting kind of hungry. And I want some coffee, so I guess I have no choice. Let's try this again. So I thought I was recording and I wasn't, so I went on this whole big old spill and then the camera went black. Anyway, so I'm getting dressed. I feel like I'm, I'm repeating everything and I just told you guys. Um, but anyway, I decided to show you guys what I have on my um, bathroom countertop. Not everything, but these right here are things that when I start decorating my corner and this, not this right here, this is just um, paint that I'm going to paint something when it comes. But anyway, um, yeah, and I know I'm not really giving a big clue or a hint to what it is, but um, yeah, I'm so excited. I was especially excited when this came. I cannot wait to show you guys these. And of course, it is going to be themed. And if you think you can guess it just by seeing this greenery, you won't be able to guess it. Well, if you really, really know me, you probably can. But this I got from Ikea. And I have bought this before for different areas of my home. And I think it was $5 or $9. Um doesn't have the price on it but yeah if you are like me and cannot keep plants alive um yeah <laughs> fake plants is the way to go and then i did get this from walmart and i think this was just like six bucks but countertop is getting pretty crowded because i do have something else coming that i'm not going to put out yet because it's not time to decorate and it's just going to be here on the counter oh just a little greenery that fell off anyway so yeah you guys i'm excited i can't wait to show you guys the full reveal of everything and i know i'm talking about everything and not showing you guys anything but it's okay you know how i do it's okay okay let me turn the christmas lights on are you guys like me do you guys have your christmas lights on pretty much all day if you are home that would be me and then let me plug in the ones that are underneath the tv yeah so i know you guys seen it in another vlog but here are our christmas decorations and then even have a few gifts starting have some more stuff coming today and then some more stuff coming um next week for the kids so yeah all right let me get some breakfast all right so i am going to try this vanilla what chia crunch that's Cheyenne right there she's eating breakfast but vanilla chia crunch I got this from Trader Joe's Savannah bought one for her as well because this is vegan but she said it was nasty I will be the judge of that and I will try it and also I am heating up some eggnog because isn't eggnog like milk and creamer it's not creamer but I am going to use my 
eggnog as a creamer for my coffee and we'll see how that goes so i don't know you guys and here's my cup for the day okay so here's the cereal and i'm using almond milk so you guys i'm not vegan so no edna she is not getting me but i have transitioned to almond milk for my milk because as you get older cow's milk does things to your gut and it's not good things so anyway um if i said the cereal was from trader joe's it's not it's actually from sprouts but i'm going to try it now okay so the cereal is not nasty it's bland it has does have granola clusters in it that makes it kind of sweet but it's I'm, i mean y'all know me when it comes to cereal i'm like a kid all that sugary sweet stuff so this is just different i mean like i said it's not nasty it's just very very bland and i've eaten cereals before that hasn't been that sweet and yes the girls are up there making a lot of noise i've had cereals before that wasn't that sweet but they were good this is i see what she means about it not being good it's just bland i mean i'm going to eat it because um i made it and i bought it but it's not nasty, so I can actually eat it, but it's very, very bland. Ooh. Oh my goodness, you guys. It is one o'clock and I sat here after I ate breakfast and then I had my <laughs> eggnog coffee. Um, it's not nasty, but I just won't be doing it again. Um, the actual eggnog mixed in it, it just didn't work out that great. I don't know. I've been sleeping on and off since I came out here and I'm I don't know why I'm so tired. My eyes are watering. But I fell asleep on a movie that um I'm watching on Netflix. You know how you watch one thing and then all of a sudden more stuff they start recommending like that? So I watched one time, I don't even know what the name of it was, but one of them Nigerian African um movies and ever since then a lot of them pop up in my recommendations and i watch them every now and then and right now i'm watching something called um it's called living in bondage breaking free i like watching like movies from other countries just for the differences and whatever and um last week i watched a movie it was a filipino movie and I don't even, I can't even repeat the name because I can't say it, but it was some, it was a scary movie. And now a lot of Filipino movies are coming up on my um, recommendation, but that's okay because, and I had to read it, of course, but um, it's okay because I like watching just different things. So yeah, um, I'm not doing nothing, y'all. I don't know why I'm so tired. I don't know why. Anyway, let me finish watching this movie that I've had to rewind um, like three times okay, already. So it is time to water Heather. Yes, y'all. She is still alive. And yes, I did name my plant. This is Heather. Looking good still, y'all. Look at this. I mean, there's a few little dead ends or whatever that I need to clip, but... For a person who kills everything just by looking at it, she's thriving. Oh yeah. Pretty proud of this one. Ready to come back in? Come on. Bringing Boston back in. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello. It's the same day. I changed because I heated up some eggnog. When I was drinking it, apparently I have a hole in my lip and I spilt on my um, hoodie that I had on earlier. So I change and just have on a regular shirt now. And yeah, but it's getting a little windy outside and I actually had to take my wind chimes down because they were just going crazy. And I don't know, it, was, it wasn't annoying me, but I don't know it, it was just too much so I took those down I rarely hear the ones in the front just the way that everything is and I guess the wind doesn't come there often so those I haven't had a problem with and we'll see if like it's super windy one day I may have to take it down but as for now I don't know um, just have to take the ones in the back down so 
yeah, just updating y'all on just little things because I'm honestly not doing anything. Running some errands later, like I said, when Savannah gets off work and yeah.